play. Based on their talents and celebrity status, their name instantly flashes in front of you whenever you hear that sport. You know, like when people are talking about boxing, who's the first person that comes to your mind? That's right, the great Muhammad Ali. So when you think of soccer, who do you think of? Well, you don't really have to say it, we already know. Cristiano Ronaldo. He is the most famous soccer player in the world, after all. Being one of the world's best and most famous soccer players naturally has some perks. He has made millions of dollars over the years and has so much money that he doesn't know what to do with it. Of course, he has fancy cars, expensive jewelry, and luxurious homes, but he also uses his millions for good, donating to charities and to people in need. He's also a family man, and having four children, he provides them the best life he possibly can. He's made millions, and he will continue to make millions even after his career is over. Let us dive deeper and have a look on Cristiano Ronaldo's extravagant life and how he spends his millions. Stay tuned to find out. It's always exciting to buy a new car, isn't it? Especially when you're a car lover. Well, some people take their love of cars quite further and seem to be obsessed with it, and our soccer star is a prime example of that. The former United star considers collecting these kinds of larger-than-life cars to be a hobby, and he reportedly has a Lamborghini, Maserati, Bentley, Porsche, and many more to play with. Say what you want about the man on the pitch, but off of it, he knows style when he sees it. Homes around the world are getting progressively more expensive, but when you're one of the highest-earning sportsmen on the planet, that's not exactly going to be much of an obstacle. We all want to live our lives in comfort, and as a footballer, that's something Ronaldo needs to prioritize more than most. His La Finca residence has a price tag of $6.2 million. Standing on a lot that measures 8,600 square feet, it has seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms, as well as a couple of kids' playrooms and an awards-filled trophy room where he probably displays his Ballon d'Or trophies. Cristiano Ronaldo is said to have sent his stylist to go in to ensure that the waxwork figure that he paid for has the right kind of hairstyle in order to ensure maximum realism. And you know what? This is not just a one-time thing, as his hairstylist regularly visits the statue to ensure its haircut is on point all the time. Although it may seem as a waste of money to some people, it also shows the kind of perfectionist Ronaldo is. He simply wants everything in perfect order. Yes, even the hairs of a lifeless wax statue. Well, apparently luxury cars were not enough for Ronaldo, so what did he do? He bought a private jet, of course. Instead of flying first class in a regular plane, CR7 flies in style. His Gulfstream private jet is believed to be worth around $32 million and is said to be capable of holding over a dozen people for any given flight. This kind of luxury can, once again, allow Ronaldo to rest and recuperate in style, which will undoubtedly assist him in furthering his career longevity. By now, we have only talked about how Ronaldo spends his wealth on luxuries, but this one shows the other side of Cristiano Ronaldo. While buying material things is always nice, it can never really compare to the great feeling of donating a significant amount of money to charity. Ronaldo has been heavily involved with Save the Children for many years now. In addition to having a great relationship with several other notable charities, it's the kind of thing that the media don't like to talk about as much as they should, but we're more than happy to promote his great work in the public eye. With his expensive taste, it's obvious that Cristiano Ronaldo would be a huge fan of expensive jewelry. We know that Cristiano has plenty of sponsorship deals, and he has one with Jacob & Company, a company that makes watches. Since they're a sponsor of his, he has to be spotted wearing their products. He's been seen wearing a limited edition H24 that's encrusted with diamonds with a weight of 15.25 carats. From Ibiza to the Greek islands and beyond, Ronaldo has visited almost every luxury holiday destination in existence. And in the off-season of football, you need to be able to unwind however you see fit. Well, these were some of the things Ronaldo spends his fortune on, and believe me, this was just the tip of the iceberg. You may criticize Ronaldo for spending huge sums of money on insignificant things, but hey, the guy has earned each penny through hard work, determination, and pure work ethic. So why shouldn't he spend his money to make all of his dreams come true?